Hey everyone, in this video I'd like to share with you how to play Ragtime Mama Blues. I learned this song from a Stefan Grossman, a Null Bay book I got quite a few years ago. It's in the key of C, and the capo is on the second fret. So, and it's it's a beginner's ragtime type of song. So it's not it's not really that long. It's really short, and once you get the basic um, pattern down, it's it's fairly simple to play. So let's get started. All right. So he starts off in this in the C, but he walks it down like that. So it's, you just hit the fifth string from the third fret, second, first, and then open. Just like that. And that goes right into an A chord. And so it's going to be this, this A position. And that's um, where you're, you're barring that first four finger, uh, your, the first four strings. And your pinky's going to be on that first string, fifth fret. And in the nether, it goes, he goes to a D7 chord. And there's two ways to play that. You can use your thumb to, like, you know, pinch down right on that sixth string, second fret. And you kind of leave it open. It's, it's, not, it's, it's quite relaxed. It's not like you're pinning it up like that. You leave it. Kind of like that, and you can put your middle finger right on that second fret, and that's the position that, and you can, and then you have to move that first string to that second string, first fret too. Um, the next position would be going to G, a little part, and that's G7. You put that first finger on back there, and then it goes to this little lick in the C. S and the C and then it goes back to an A, E7, G, and then C. And that's it. That's the chord progression. So after he walks that down, it goes right into that A, you're going to pinch the fourth string and the first two strings with your first thing to, uh, the first and middle finger right here. Just And then you're going to move the bass up to the fifth string, and that's going to be open. And you're going to pinch that along with the first two fingers again. So it's and after that, you just take the bass, fourth four string by itself, and then you hit the second string by itself. So it's Next measure, you're going to still in the A, you're going to pinch the fifth string and the first string together. The fifth string is open. You're going to come down to bass on the fourth string. And now you're going to move that middle finger right to that fifth, the uh, third fret, first string. And then you're going to hit that by itself so it's Bass open fifth string, and then you're gonna go back to that pinky right on that fifth fret, but and then you can hit that by itself. So it's bass, and then bass. So it's so from the beginning. Next chord, the next measure, we're going right into that D7. And there's two ways of playing this. If you have a hard time playing with your thumb, you can play with your middle finger. You know, with that ring finger on that third fret of the first string. The middle finger on that third fret of the sixth string. And then do it that way. Or you can 
I'll just show you how I do it with the thumb because that's pretty much that's how um, like Blind Blake and Reverend Gary Davis played it. They played it with their thumb, and it's fairly easy. It's not it's not difficult. So you're gonna rest that thumb right on that second fret, sixth string, and then the middle finger on that first on the first string, second fret. You're gonna hit the bass by itself on the sixth string. And then you're gonna come down and you're gonna pinch the fourth string and then the first string together. So it's and then you're gonna lift up that middle finger and then you're gonna pinch the fifth and first strings. So it's and then you're gonna move the thumb right up to that third fret, sixth string, and then you're gonna place the first finger down on the first string, first fret, and then pinch those. So it's Go back to the second fret, sixth string, with your and, and with your middle finger on that second fret, first string. You're gonna pinch those. So it's, you're gonna pinch that, pinch that, and then you're gonna keep in that same position. And you're gonna, after you pinch this, you're gonna come down and pinch the fourth string and the first string. So it's from that first finger. Well, the thumb, so that's why you can instead of using the thumb, you can use the you can use your middle finger and then go like that. that that's kind of difficult, but instead of doing that, you go. So you go with the middle finger, second fret, sixth string, ring finger on the se <coughs> second fret. First string, pinch those. So it's, and then instead of using your thumb like this, you can just use your <coughs> the ring finger on there and the first finger on there, pinch those. and then come back like that middle finger. So as a the thumb is is worth it's worth getting used to using the thumb because it's just easier, and over time you're, you'll get used to it. So. So from that uh, beginning of the D7th chord, come down and pinch that, the fourth and the first string, after you pinch that, and then you want to first finger right on that first fret, second string, and hit that by itself. And then you, you're going to hit the sixth and first strings, but you're going to pinch them together, but the first string's open. Then you're going to plant down that middle finger. First, uh, first string, second fret, hit that, and then hit that by itself, and then bass open. So it's It's very simple to play slow, but when you're playing the song, it's a rag time as fast, so it's going to be a little bit tricky. So that, you're going to come right in that G position, the ring finger is going to be on that 3rd fret, 6th string. You're going to hit that, and then you're going to move that pinky right up to that 3rd fret, 3rd string. You're going to hit that, and then you're going to pinch the 4th string and the 2nd string together, and they're both open. Then you're gonna hit that B string. Put put that ring finger or the pinky right on that second string, third fret, and then hit that. So it's and going really fast can be this can be this part can be a little tricky. And then you want to pinch the sixth and the first strings together, and the, the first string is open. And then plant that your uh, pinky right back on that, uh, right on the uh, third fret first string, so it's, and then bass. So it's, and then the next.
next part is he goes into a G7 when you just put that first finger right on that first fret, first string. So you hit the bass by itself, then hit that first string by itself, first finger on that first fret, first string, and then bass, and then move that pinky right to that third fret, first string, and hit that by itself. So it's bass by itself, and then bass by itself on the fourth string. That's, that's open. right in that C and that lift that and that part all that is you hit come down at the bass that C that real well and then on that third fret of the uh, right here you want to bring that ring finger right down there you're gonna do that you're gonna hit it once and you're gonna pull it off so it's pull off pull off and then you go right to that fourth fret Second string and hit that with your pinky. So it's then hit the first string open. Then you're gonna move that right to that first fret, second string, hit that. And then you're gonna go right on that second fret, uh, third string, and plant that with your finger. And I hit that with my thumb when I'm playing. And then I hit that. Then when I lift that up and I hit it open, I hit it with my first finger. Part, you just, just you go to that first fret on the fourth string and you want to hammer on to the second fret, same string, the middle finger, and you just do that hammer on and you hit that third string open and you do that twice. right back just like it was in the beginning with the, the first few measures there. It goes right back into that. This is the D7. G. And on this part, when he goes to the G7, instead of going like this, he goes like this. You hit 6th string, 1st string, just with that like that. Bass. And then you lift that first finger up and hit the first string open. And then you come back with the bass. Still, that ring finger is still on that sixth, uh, sixth ring, third fret. And then you come down and hit that pinky right on that third fret, second string. So it's... string third fret and the first finger right on that uh, second string first fret and you pinch those. Come down to bass with that middle finger right on that uh, sec uh, fourth string second fret by itself. Then you want to move this ring finger up right to the sixth string third fret. Hit that. Then you're going to hit the third string open and then we can come out to bass on the fourth string where that middle finger is. So it's just like that. And then you end with that 
pinching the, th the fifth and the second string together with that ring finger on there, third fret, fifth string, and the first finger on the uh, second string, first fret. And that's it. That's the song. That's how you play Ragtime Mama Blues. Thank you for watching. Take care.